This OMP Big Horn is actually my only balsa and plywood plane, and it's it's an RCA plane that I enjoy very much. Uh, mainly due to that it flies so great, but also I think it's a very beautiful constructed RSL plane. Uh, it looks really nice. I think it's also really agile and fun to fly. So I've experienced with this one. I had a, like a, a smaller prop. This is the the stock prop. I had a smaller prop on. I've also experienced with having like an AVN EC inside, but I got just too many warnings, so I actually just replaced it and put the original EC inside and the original prop. But what I've actually done, I have this like these cave and tires, which are softer and, and better than the, the stock ones, and I also think that these tires looks uh, look better than the, the stock ones. Uh, but I mean, it's just a, a, a very fun RSL plane to fly, and you have this great hatch. Uh, and just put the battery almost uh, always forward and it's, and it's balanced so you can fly inverted and whatnot. So let's just uh, head outside and, uh, and fly this uh, OMP big horn because it's just a, a fun RC airplane to fly. <laughs> Today just a lovely day, quite warm, no wind. Just a perfect day to get this big horn flying and I always have a really nice time when I fly this RSL plane. It is a great slow flying RSL plane. Of course you have to watch out because too slow and you bank and it will, it will certainly just tip stall. So I'm trying to make these turns kind of flat. And it is really easy to get this one down and land. I think these uh, cave and wheels does also make for better landings. And it, uh, a really beautiful takeoff in this RSL plane. You more or less just um, increase throttle and up it goes. Time remaining, four minutes. It's also a great uh, inverted flying RSL plane. few worries. I would say that the only thing you have to worry about is actually the tip stall thing, which uh, is kind of similar uh, which you might experience then on the night Timber X and Timber X. And that's why I've also decreased throw on the surfaces just to have not having this one being over control, especially the rudder is super effective. So if you jank the rudder, rudder too much, uh, the plane will, um, I mean, it will just uh, go down. Time remaining, three minutes. If I look at something like the Night Timber X, then I actually kind of prefer to do aerobatics with the Night Timber X because it's even more agile. But I still think this is a really nice plane to do all these things with. Maybe it's because I'm a little bit afraid I will actually just uh, crash this RSL plane because it's such a beautiful one and I know that if you do have repairs on a balls and plywood plane, it just takes a lot of effort, a lot of time to repair them, compare them to a foamy where you usually have like five minutes and some glue and uh, everything is working again. So that's one thing talking against balls and plywood planes in general then. But uh, how this one flies on three is just fantastic. Uh,
Yeah, as you can see, you can more or less just do whatever you like, as long as you have speed. It's also really good flap behavior from this big horn. Let's do another landing then. Usually it's really easy to get it down on the mains. So let's get it up once more and just do another landing before the timer is up. Can expect about five minutes of flight time with a 2200 milliamp 3S battery. Really enjoyable large airplane flight, this big horn. Regardless in which style you like to fly this large airplane, I think you will never be disappointed. Uh, I then actually have reduced rates, so I have uh, around like 80 to 90 percent on the control surfaces because and just a lot, a lot of expo because I think that you actually can quite easily over control this one and you can certainly just remove all the expo and, and the reduced rate if you want to fly this one more 3D style but which that is not just my thing I like to fly you know <laughs> regular aerobatics uh, and, or if you just want to fly like super nicely scale just tone down rates and you can go quite docile around the sky. I think the, the flaps works just great to have this one to slow down. Uh, I think it's a nice prop sound, a nice appearance in, in the sky. It's also something very different from um, you know all the usual foam RC airplanes. So uh, I mean it's certainly it's, it's a really durable RC airplane. It's also really fun to fly. It's beautiful. Uh, so I mean for being a, a balsa and plywood plane I, I really enjoy this one. Uh, tremendously. Flaps up. 